She answers the door in her curlers, nonchalantly calling over her shoulder. I'll be in the downstairs bathroom. You know where the Doritos are in the kitchen. See, you know me so well, even in my favorite food. Eileen rolls her eyes and walks into the bathroom as Jay pads behind her, an open bag of Doritos in hand. He leans forward and... He whispers in her ear. Is Pat home? No. Good. Because for three years, I've been dying to do this. Jay places his hands on Eileen's waist, pivoting her around to face him. Very slowly, as if asking for permission, he leans down to place a kiss on her lips. It's soft and tentative, as if they're made of glass, and the contact could shatter them completely. What... what was that? Was it bad? No, it was... different. Yeah, but different in a good or bad way? I, I don't know, just different. You've always been my brother's best friend, Jay. I've never imagined doing that with you. Seriously? You've never thought of kissing me? Not really. I think about kissing you all the time. When you're dressed up at a party, when you're all neat and polished at school. But most of all, I wanted to kiss you when you're hanging out here. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I look like a slob at home. But that's exactly it. Watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. I love when your hair is on top of your head like Medusa's, and when you don't have a stitch of makeup on your face. What? I'm serious. You're, you're just so human, Eileen. I love that you're never shy or awkward around me. You're different than other girls. Look, I'm leaving for college in three months. And if I don't ask you this question, I'll always wonder, will you be my girlfriend? Oh my god, Jay! What about Pat? What about Pat? You guys have been best friends since kindergarten. And you know how protective he is of me. But who better than me to treat you the way you deserve to be treated? I don't know. Don't you think we should ask him first? Oh, ask him what? If I can court you? This isn't the 1800s, Eileen. You can speak for yourself. I know I can, but he's my brother. It may be old-fashioned, but his approval is important to me. Family's important to me. <sighs> You're right. What was I thinking? This is exactly why I like you, Eileen. You're the most thoughtful person I know. But wait, you can tell me. Were you just using Pat as an excuse because you don't want to date me? Actually, no. I hadn't thought about kissing you before, Jay. But I know that you're a good person. And I know you treat me well. So, if Pat's not too weirded out by it, I say... Why not? Oh my god, that's amazing! I, I can't wait another minute to make it official. Can we ask Pat tonight at the party? Sure. But first, I need to do something about this hair. Jay waits patiently while Eileen perfects her hair and makeup and slips into a slinky summer dress with strappy gold heels. The moment she finishes threading her gold earrings through her earlobes, Jay's hands are buried in the loose brown curls of her hair, and he has her trapped in a passionate kiss. Wow, Jay, you're a really good kisser. Maybe we should stay home from the party? No, you were right. Family first. I was right, huh? I often am. You're probably going to have to get used to that. <laughs> Easy there, Eileen. That pedestal you put yourself on looks a little wobbly. <laughs> no way. This thing is made of solid gold. The pair continues laughing and joking on their way to the car as they drive to the party and when they walk through the door. But then Pat is suddenly before them. And... Their blissful feelings evaporate. Dude, my sister? Are you shitting me right now? No, I'm not shitting you. I'm dating her and I don't care what you think. Uh huh. Jay, that wasn't really the plan. Pat's eyes stay furiously glued on Jay. You don't care what I think. 
You don't care that you're throwing away 13 years of friendship? I trusted you, man. You know how important my family is to me. And to do this here? I, I, I couldn't wait, man. I did not need to hear that. No, hear me out. No, dude, I can't. I, I can't even look at you. Then look at me. Eileen's loud, clear voice stops both men in their tracks. A heavy silence, filled with all the pressure of a single wrong word, falls between them. That's better. Pat, I care about Jay. What the? I'm not finished. Sorry. I care about him. But Pat, I care about you too. That's why we came to you. As soon as we realized we liked each other. We want you to be okay with the idea of the two of us dating. I mean, who better than your little sister and your best friend, right? You already love both of us. Yeah, but what if something happens between you two? Something bad? Eileen reaches out for Jay's hand, and he grasps hers in return. Of course I want to believe it won't end badly. But that's always a real possibility. So you have to trust us. And believe that we're adults who will carefully pull apart the pieces without hurting each other. I'd never hurt you, Eileen. Seriously, Pat. I wouldn't hurt your sister. There's a long silence as Pat looks at the people in front of him. The two most important people in his life. Fine. But under two conditions. One, if you ever get married, I get to be the best man at your wedding. Uh, Pat, what? don't put that kind of pressure on us. Dude, of course you'll be my best man. Uh, Jay, we are not talking about our wedding right now. Uh, fine, fine. Then he leans in and whispers to Pat. Not yet, anyway. I heard that. Quit bickering, you two. I still have another condition. There will be absolutely no kissing in front of me. Well, in that case, I'd better take Eileen back home. Dude, my conditions. You never said anything about talking about kissing, and I plan to kiss the ever-living hell out of this girl. Mm -hmm.